Good morning, YouTube. So, um, on November 4th, uh, you know, I was one of the first people to start talking about this. Now a lot of people are talking about it. And they even blocked the road, the, the freeway, in uh, downtown Los Angeles, Antifa did, uh, to hold up a sign that says November 4th, it, be, it begins. So the big question is, you know, you've heard me talk about the purge. I got the purge details from Antifa directly, from individuals within Antifa who are talking about this. And let's just say Antifa likes to get stoned and run their mouth. Uh, also, when they get really pissed, they start to spew the truth, uh, things that they should be keeping secret according to their, probably to their leadership. So the question is, November 4th, really, what is it? Well, if you look at their public information, they're calling for a national day of protest. <clears throat> I believe that this is the public front to cover up what's going on. Is November 4th the purge? They definitely have a purge in their plan. It's where they go basically house to house and steal guns and, and do home invasions. And at the same time, there'll be groups targeting uh, public officials. And, um, you know, that may be a different thing than what is happening on November 4th. If you listen to their own rhetoric, they're just saying this is a protest. But I believe that the protest is cover. This fits in with the purge concept that the chaos in the city brought uh, about basically by useful idiots, people that are just, uh, you know, they think they're protesting uh, racism. And they'll cause enough mayhem and uh, enough discord in the city to keep the police occupied while the smaller groups go out and actually partake in the purge. Uh, the main goal of the purge is to acquire tools. Uh, acquire is code for home invasion theft. So they want to come into your house and take your gun so that they can use it for the furtherment of this war that they're planning. So is November 4th the purge? I'm not sure that it is. My gut tells me that it is. It may be the beginning of something that leads to the purge night. Uh, but I honestly believe it's more than this Occupy movement. You know, you got to look into the language that they use. They want to bring down the Trump-Pence uh, regime. Now, how do you bring down a president? Well, there's only one way to bring down a president, and that's with, uh, you know, House and Senate indictment and conviction of high crimes and misdemeanors under the Constitution, also known as impeachment. So, you know, you get an impeachment by producing evidence and by writing your congressman and pushing for it. H how would a mass protest lead to an impeachment? Maybe they hope to frustrate local law enforcement and to put bring commerce to a grinding standstill and in that force Trump to some way feel morally responsible for it and therefore he would uh, step down from the presidency. I don't see Trump being that kind of guy. I see Trump seeing that as a, as a real um, as a real challenge as a leader and that he would step up and provide more leadership which would essentially be a crackdown on the, uh, on the protesters. If the numbers turn out that they're calling for, and there's a lot of brainwashed masses out there, so the numbers may be very large, uh, is that enough to overwhelm a local police force? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially with the tactics they're using where they all line up in tactical gear. Now, if they wanted to go out there, you know, set up sniper positions and start taking out leadership and putting them on the ground, well, I think, yeah, they could probably deal with it that way, but that's not how they're going to try and deal with it, not unless they're being shot at. So the only way to deal with it then is the same ta tactics, which are very manpower intensive. I mean, it really requires a whole lot of people to create these physical human boundaries and try to corral these people into small groups where they can be arrested. So could you see your downtown areas being burned, being looted, uh, cars being destroyed? Well, we've seen it already. So you can expect that at least on November 4th. November 4th, you can expect to see that kind of thing for sure. 
Will the smaller groups, the more determined ones, the ones with a specific goal, potentially target your home or your neighborhood? Will they just go to a neighborhood where they think there's guns and go house to house? Or do they have a hit list? I believe they do. Uh, I believe that they are watching gun shops. Uh, I have seen them watching gun shops. Uh, it's not hard to see Antifa. Once you know what they look like unmasked, they all kind of look the same. They're your typical social justice warrior. You know, my daughter, who's pretty conservative, kind of, I mean, she's a vegan. <laughs> That's the only thing that's not really conservative about her. <laughs> but, you know, she's got blue hair. And I told her, I said, you need to get rid of that blue hair. And that, you know, and you, know you think it's cool or whatever, but trust me, that's, that's like an Antifa badge. So <laughs> a lot of these blue haired, a lot of these, uh, you know, uh, counterculture people. I'm, I'm seeing them in my gun shops. I'm seeing them practicing firearms <coughs> in, uh, in, at ranges. And, uh, you know, so what's it going to be on November 4th? Well, you can count on at least some serious destruction. You can count on at least some serious protesting. And this will be nationwide. But I suspect also you'll see some terrorist activities, some home invasions. That may come at a later date. I do know the purge exists because they talk about it. It's their mythical day. Um, I don't have any direct correlation between November 4th and the purge, other than to say everything I know about the purge looks exactly like what they're playing on November 4th. And I guess only time will tell. But uh, trust me, you know, don't go to town <laughs> on November 4th. You know, you know, they may disrupt a lot of roadways, so trucking may be disrupted, store shelves may run dry. So just be prepared, have your heads up, keep your doors locked, and, uh, you know, hey, if you want to go on vacation right then, you know, take your stuff with you, that might be a pretty good idea. But anyway, uh, till the next video, God save the Republic.